but like seeing how shady he's been with all that's been going on, um, they don't want to stay here, and I don't, I really don't blame them. Um, with our situation, um, Leon's been looking for places and we can't seem to find any. Um, that seems to be always the issue that we're dealing with. <laughs> I was sick. So it happens when I get sick. Um, it stops having zebra abort dermatitis. If you're not familiar with it, then you don't know what it's like. It's basically cradle cap, like baby's cradle cap, but I had it on my face and my scalp. So, yeah. And I'm getting gray hair. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> but yeah, um, getting exciting. But I wanted to come on and say good morning. How are you guys doing? So, let's take y'all for the day. through it um that's because things are getting packed up um i haven't really been vlogging much um the past couple days um i've just been trying to get through this whole program um and it's been really cold <laughs> so like i haven't really been vlogging but um i did kind of want to like do a quick update um let's go been going on um the last time i talked to you guys about our, the whole living situation or whatever um my mother-in-law said that she was going to try and get the landlord to pay for her electric bill and everything well um that was taken care of the electric company they decided that oh uh oh <laughs> um the electric company decided that um the landlord was in the wrong, so they transferred their bill to the landlord and made, was making the landlord pay the bill. And then um, the landlord took the bill out of um, their name, and now um, the landlord pays for the utilities. Um, and then he tried to give them like a new lease, 
um, stating that the rent would go up to $1,050, um, but that includes like all the utilities on a prop in the property. Um, my mother-in-law is trying to see if that's even legal because um, in September he raised New. the rent. Skippy. And it hasn't even been like a month. Like I mean, a year. So um, their year doesn't like officially like the whole year doesn't officially um happen until December. So um, she's trying to figure out if he's even in the legal right to raise the rent for the second time within the twelve months. Um, so I told her I don't think that's legal. And I don't think he has any grounds to do that. Um, I think it'd be different if um. It'd be different if he didn't raise the rent prior to um, all this that was going on. Um, I get why he's doing it like that. Like, it kind of makes sense, you know. Um, if he's paying all the utilities, then it wouldn't make sense to raise the rent a little bit. But um, not for a one bedroom. Like, it's only a one bedroom here. And I don't see how the electric bill is like four or five hundred dollars a month when the utility company stated that their bills no more than two hundred a month. So I can see the apartment being like a hundred a month um, for with all the utilities included. Um, so even with like that option, even if the option was for him to only charge them like a hundred a month, they still don't want to live here. They don't want to stay, especially not for a one bedroom. Like they're paying a hundred a month for one bedroom, and yes, all utilities is included. But like seeing how shady he's being. With all that's been going on, um, they don't want to stay here, and I don't, I really don't blame them. Um, with our situation, um, Leon's been looking for places, and we can't seem to find any. Um, that seems to be always the issue that we're dealing with, <laughs> but um, the program referred us to another program, which is like Habitat to Humanity or something like that. Um, if you're not familiar with it, basically, you join the program, you volunteer and help out build other homes or help build your own home and um then you can live in it that's pretty much what habitat to humanity it's similar that will be similar to what we're doing but the only difference is that because leon's disabled um he doesn't necessarily have to volunteer i don't mind volunteering i don't mind like helping build other people's families homes in order for us to get a home so if i have to volunteer i don't mind but i don't think they're gonna make us do it i don't think they're gonna make us do it only because the program is for leon and i'm just tagging along i guess you can say because i'm not a vet he is um she sent us four different well she said she was going to send us four different properties to look at to decide which one that we might be interested in because from what i was told is that all the homes that give me all we will be moving into is already built. Give me the rest. So no, give me the rest. we won't necessarily have to work on our home. Um, so, yeah. So that's, and it's a long-term program. Um, somebody will come out every week to check on us and see how we're doing and everything like that, which I don't have a problem with. Like, it's no, it's no different than having CYS come to your house and all up in your shit. It's no different than having, um... TSS caseworkers, which I had to deal with with my nephew for his um, behavioral issues and his like speech therapy and all that. It's no different than that. So to me, having somebody come out that's helping us have a place to live, I'm not going to complain with them coming to hang out with us for um, every week for an hour. Like that's not going to, it's not a big deal. So, and, and if anything, it's really going to be him that has to deal with it because um, I'm doing the program and I'm working and everything. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick update of what's been going on. I haven't really been vlogging much, so there's not really much vlog. I did buy a camera, but I tried to get like a battery pack. It, damn, it's not charging, so I most likely have to get a new battery. Or the camera is faulty and I just wasted $130. And I'm kind of upset about it, but at the same time, it's my fault. If you believe in the Mercury retrograde, I can't talk. If you believe in Mercury retrograde and like the whole astrology and thing, then you know that it's my fault. I shouldn't have made the purchase, but I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was, so therefore I, I made the purchase spontaneously. But you know, it's, it's what I get. It's, it's, 
basically my fault. Um, I can, if anything, I'll just, if it is a faulty camera and it doesn't work at all, I'll just resell it for parts and I'll make my money back, some of my money back that way. It's just going to take some time, um, for me to like put up the ad and put it on Craigslist and everything and try to sell it that way. Um, I did look at, um, I was at Best Buy the other day and I did look at a camera. Um, I was looking at two different cameras. Um, I believe the one is a... Um, Canon SX740, it's a new camera, it's a little smaller, um, it has the flip thing. I thought about getting the G7X Mark II, but I'm not paying that much. I thought about getting that camera, but, um, I'm not, I What is that book for anyway? I can't justify paying that kind of money for that What's camera for? when, um... I don't know. I see better quality cameras out there for less price or um, for the same price. Um, the Canon SX740 is um, like three, four hundred dollars cheaper than the G7X Mark II, and um, it records in 4K quality. So I don't see the point of spending. Much. Um, the other camera, hold on, baby. The other camera I was looking at was, I believe it was, I think it's a Cool Pix 1000, P1000 or something like that. Um, those are the two cameras I was looking at. It's actually, um, and that one is about a thousand dollars. Um, and the reason why I would rather spend a thousand dollars for this camera for next. Go ahead. Um, I'd rather spend a thousand dollars for that because it's 4K, it records in 4K quality and the zoom is like 18 times. I can zoom all the way to the moon, so I wouldn't mind spending <laughs> the money for that and then for the GX Mark II or whatever it's called. So yeah, um, the camera that I bought was a Nikon D5000 and it's way, it's less quality than the camera that I originally had because I had the Nikon D3400 and that one was like pretty decent to me. Um, the Nikon D5000, um, the quality isn't, um, as good as the other Nikon that I had, but um, I paid way less than what I paid for that one. Um, for the Nikon 3400, I paid $400 for it, and then for the Nikon D500, 5000, I paid um, $130. So, like, we'll see. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get those camera, those two cameras. Um, I want, I'm not sure what I want, to be honest with you. I don't know if I want to get a small vlogging camera or if I want to get the big one where I'm able to do, like, nice sit-down videos on top of it. Like, I want something that's going to be multifunctional so that I don't have to buy multiple cameras. I know eventually I'm going to have to buy multiple cameras because... The kids want to vlog, the kids want to do their own videos, and they have their own channels, and Kina has her channel and everything, so, um, yeah, and I've, I've been wanting to, um, do, uh, have the Kina do more videos, but it's kind of hard with my phone, because, um, my phone, it's just, Hiya, can I have it? I'm not, it's kind of hard because of, like, our living situation, um, and I don't have, like, the necessary equipment to be able to, like, angle it the right way for her, um, it's not that I don't want to, or, like, there's no reason, like, it's just harder with the amount of things that we have, and the lack of equipment, plus not, not to so no, straight at my kids, but it, personally for me, like, I want my kids' videos to be also good quality, too. Um, I don't want it to be, like, a whole bunch of nonsense in the background, like, y'all here now. Or, like, the baby in the background making a bunch of noises and stuff. Like, I actually want her videos to be decent. Same with the other kids. Like, I want their videos to be pretty decent, so, yeah. Um, so that's pretty much what's been going on. I just wanted to give y'all a quick update on what's, um, been going on with everything. Um, yes, my hair is still in pigtails. <laughs> I never took it out. <laughs> but I'm most likely going to straighten it. No, stay out of kids. I left it like this so that 
Um, it doesn't, I'm not forced, it's like not in a bun because I'm trying to get out of the mom bun. I know, um, I got it made to seem like I'm just, just going to stick with the mom no, bun. No, no, no I'm, I'm told y'all like I need to start changing time. things about myself, especially when it comes to self-love and taking care of myself. Like I'm trying to get out of the groove of doing habits like those habits that are not good for me no, that makes sense so no, 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 pig tails braided pig tails um instead of a bun when i don't feel like doing my hair so like, i mean this is better than a freaking matted mess up here <laughs> but yeah um so yeah, I just that's all I wanted to talk about real quick. Um, I finished my course. Did I finish my, no, I finished my um, customer service class workshop thing tomorrow. Um, I have like three more modules to do, and then I'm pretty much done with that. And then that's pretty much it. Like I, when I do the program, I don't really have to do anything else. Um, I just go and sit there and do job searching. That's pretty much all I'm going to be doing is job searching. So, yeah, if I can sign up for other classes, I will, but there's nothing really else for me to do because of the fact that we're so close to the end of the year, and the holidays are coming up. Oh, and another thing I wanted to talk about was Christmas. Um, what are we going to do for Christmas? Have you ever felt... Are you listening? Damn. Yeah.